Hello, everybody. How you doing? Thanks for coming out for Virtual Improv tonight. We have a great show, great cast lined up for you. So without any further uh, ado, let's bring them out. This is your cast for Virtual Improv tonight. We got Kenny Gray, the guy who made this song. Hey, whoa! Will Janetta! Hey, hey. Hi. Hi. Patrick Grimion! Rob Lamont! Meg Sinek! Wow! <laughs> and that is your virtual improv cast. Let's bring everybody back out here. Hello, everyone. This is everybody. It's so this it's so them. weird for me to not be clapping throughout all of that. I love that song so much. Kenny Gray, he was the one who made it, and he's here today. To to, to and he also made all our amazing interstitials. He made the creator. Cool the creator is here. So when you hear music, just feel free to. Uh, yeah, it's Kenny Gray. Uh, so. We're going to play some fun games. I have games set up on a randomizer here. They're all these crazy short form games, just like from Who's Line. And uh, whatever comes up, we're going to play or we're going to not play or we're just going to do what the fuck we want. <laughs> so please get your one word suggestions into the chat as fast as you can. Also, we're looking for things like complete sentences. If you just want to dump a sentence, be like, just dump it in the chat. Or if you want to like give us a quirk, like an interesting characteristic about somebody like Oh, they have squid arms, or oh man, they their nipples are just oh we can't talk about nipples on Twitch, but you no know, nipples on Twitch. They have I learned live that last grabs. time I did this show, I was told talk, talk, but no show. That was a one month ban. I'll never forget, Will. <laughs> yeah, you can't show them. I I think we can talk about nipples all we, we want if we wanted to do about about like this. This show. We, It would have been okay into, if like, it was the just fuckers. if it was just the <laughs> one. It would have been okay, but there was all three, all three of them, Will. You showed all. Gotta three. gotta keep the silver dollars in the coin purse. Okay, yes, that's horrific. Thanks, Grandpa. It. Appreciate it. <laughs> Thanks, Kit Tempest, for suggesting tortilla chips. Now I'm fucking hungry. All right, so. All right, so we're gonna get started. Here it comes. You just sad trombone yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I could do that. I could do whatever I want. I'm the one holding the meaty synthesizer. Or whatever you want to call it. Meaty controller. Yeah, meaty. Meaty was right. Meaty synthesizer. Meaty. Mm -hmm. is it a beefy control? synthesizer. It's a beef. It's a, it's, I think it's just a, a meaty co controller. Is that what this is called? It's, it's, not, it's it, not a synthesizer. It's a beef cake. It's a beef cake of music in your hand. Beef. You know, that's very interesting because the company uh, Moog actually was originally called Beef. So that's interesting. And they changed Ooh. it to Moog because that's the sound a cow makes in Germany. Right when you Correct. kill it. Oh, Moog. And, <laughs> and Minecraft. Minecraft, that's the sound they make. <laughs> anyway, on that note, random game. <laughs> All right. This game is called Number of Words. Uh, it's a pretty easy game. We just have some people doing a scene, and they each can only speak in a certain number of words. However... I like to make this harder because, uh, you know, it's too easy for these people. They're all too good. So we're going to make it A to Z number of words. So every time someone Ugh. starts their line, they have to start it with <laughs> the next letter of the alphabet. Face. You know That's what? harder. Different game. Fine. No, oh. do it. No, no. no okay. All right. All right. All right. Once, right. It's, once it's said, it cannot be. The unfair. die has been cast. I was play I'm playing along. I'm going, this is going to be so hard for me. They're going to have so much fun watching me fail at it. You didn't count on me being such a caring nurturer. Anyway. Uh, so <laughs> uh, I, let's have uh, 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 Rob and uh, Meg start this one out. And mm -hmm. how it's going to go is. You guys, uh, Meg, you can only speak in two words. One, Actually, two. Three, uh, three people. Rob, you can speak in sentences of uh, seven words. And Will, you can speak in no less than 16 words. 16 or more? Yes. And Will, you'll be Great. a walk-on. And every time you speak, you have to start your line with the next letter of the alphabet from the last person. Okay? Okay. So... Your get is from Kit Tempest Tortilla Chips. Begin whenever you want. You hungry? 
Zoinks. I'm so hungry. I could die. All right. But let's think about this. Tortilla chips? Can we? Doesn't seem fair. <laughs> All these tortilla chips. Enough chips. Fucking chips. I can't stand these chips. Chill, Daniel. Wait, wait. Don't tell me. Oh. <laughs> See? All right. She's out. You take her place, Patrick. And your letter is uh, G. And it's just two? Two. Okay. Good chips. Oh, baby. I love all these chips. How many? I don't know. They're like... <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait a minute wait, what happened here we got stuck on h i think we flipped an i and an h ah uh, is it the me. last letter of the last word or is it the last the first letter of your line has to start with the next letter of the alphabet oh from wait. the last letter of the final word, okay. <laughs> oh, the first word. no just in alphabetical order Gotcha. Obviously, we can't do this game. We are so... All right, let's keep going. Oh! Rob, <laughs> Rob. Oh, okay. <laughs> Rob, your letter is J. Continue. Uh, <laughs> Just to be clear, not easy dinner. <laughs> kind sirs, kind sirs. Hello, my name is Daniel. I'm a little orphan boy from down the hall. I heard there might have been some tortillaed chips available here at this residence. May I please partake <laughs> of some? <laughs> you said 16 or more. I did so many. No, I th <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I, I... <laughs> Was I right? Was I right about this game? I fucked take it up. That, take that back. <laughs> I wish I could. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is content, baby. I this swear. is fucking content. I'm going to follow up on this later because I don't understand what happened. I didn't do a good job. <laughs> First off, it's hard for me to explain rules when I have my damn Invisaligns in, so excuse me. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this part of the program is brought to you by Invisalign. Invisalign. They go on your teeth. Uh, this line was originally called beef. <laughs> <laughs> they had to change it. Because that's the sound that teeth make when you kill people. <laughs> oh, my God. Wow. Yeah. Look how straight my teeth are getting. It's wonderful. You know, else is getting pretty straight. This next game, whatever that means. Press conference. All right. Press conference is a fun one. Uh, we're going to have a uh, Mr. Meg, Meg, you are going to Mr. run. A, Meg. Mr. Mr. Meg. Meg is going to run a press conference on an issue uh, suggested by the audience, um, and everyone else here in the the uh, audience are they're going to be members of the press, and they're going to ask some really hard hitting questions about a lot of topics uh, uh, to this this uh, representative of this organization. So, uh, come on, audience, we need those suggestions. I'm going to have to, you know, resort to using a, a word generator in this day and age. Fine. All in right. this Your suggestion is laundry. laundry. Laundry is your suggestion. Let the press conference begin. All right, uh, members of the press. Uh, this is me, uh, Melanie Godson, uh, owner of the local laundromat, uh, Suds and Stuff. Um, just here to take questions about the incident that happened last week. Um, everyone's fine. Everything's clean. Uh, there's been nothing to be concerned about any questions uh nope. yeah hi, hi uh miss godson uh jeff mitchards pennsylvania avenue um now the dryers went on for too long and all of our laundry caught fire there's no denying that fact we don't have any clothes anymore uh, yes, Mr. Mitchards, it's very true. The laundry did catch on fire, but we did eventually put it out. So there's no longer a fire. So there's no need to be a, yep. Uh, sir with the black hat. 
Yeah, Emilio Arbright from uh, from the Canadian Newswire. Uh, is it true that you then took that clothing that was burned and put barbecue sauce on it and sold it? Uh, sir, that is true. But again, nobody was injured. In fact, some people benefited from that uh, in that they were able to have something to put their barbecue sauce on. So I really think it's a win-win. Yes, uh, sir, with the circus background. Yes, uh, Mork Mindy's The New York Times. Uh, is it true that you were uh, stuck on an island for two years and then whenever you were stuck on this island and you would like you were stuck with someone else and whenever you would imagine uh, when you look at that person when you got hungry uh, you know how people will imagine like a giant sandwich like their head is a sandwich you would just yes, imagine everyone a, knows that yes yeah the classic science you would imagine a pile of clothes slathered in sauce yeah various, is that true that's if you're true. implying if you're implying that I deliberately set the fire to roast all the clothes such that I could cover them in barbecue sauce and then eat them that is not technically true the fire was an accident yes I with the beret. hello madame uh, Jacques Poupon from the Paris Weekly. My question is, I had a beautiful chemise from my wife made in Paris and to throw barbecue sauce onto it is not, it is not the design of the French cooking to put barbecue sauce on such a beautiful French piece of clothing. I think that you have made a horrible mistake. You have not Use the glass. You have not poured any white wine onto it. This is not the way to eat a chemise. Uh, sir, I saw the chemise. I used an aioli. Excuse me. Yes. Excuse me. I, you yes. know, you said you didn't. You said you didn't cause the fire. Thanks. But isn't it true that you now have your child running your social media account on a food truck you've started, much like the plot of the movie Chef, to take your barbecued clothing around the nation? Yes, that is true. Um, much like the movie Chef, I have started a food truck. My son is running the food truck. Um, we have a great relationship. He's my best friend. And uh, yes, yeah, sir, with so, the sorry. Uh, middle uh, there, yeah. Isn't it, isn't it true, though, that you have adopted the kid from the movie Chef and said that it's your kid that you have a great relationship with, but really you're holding him captive? Technically, that's not true. He adopted me. You know, it's like uh, who saves who when you rescue someone, you know, when you rescue an animal, who saves who? Anyway, yes, uh, with the glasses. Yes, yes. I've also heard the, the rumors uh, in Tinseltown that it wasn't John Favreau that directed Zathura, a 3D space epic. It was actually you who directed Zathura, a 3D space epic. Is that I have the documents, I have tapes, I have a podcast about this. <laughs> Uh, sir, I've listened to your podcast. I find it very convincing because it is, in fact, true. You've done your research. I did uh, direct Zathura, the the three D a three D space epic, a three D space epic. Um, however, I had John Favreau take the fall for that one because it was so bad. Hello. Yeah, great. Hello. Yes. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Is it true then that also from Warner Brothers that you are in fact, in fact, you are. Jack Warner, who was supposedly to have died in the 1980s, but has been reincarnated in the body of you. Are you in fact the sentient being Jack Warner speaking through a auburn haired woman's face? Surprisingly, that is also true. If you can believe it, all of these things are true. I am the reincarnation of Jack Warner speaking through an auburn haired woman who has adopted a follow son up and question, directed follow a up movie. Question, and, of yes, course. A follow-up question for that then which one is your favorite animaniac um uh dot the girl or one of the two boys you love them all equally Next i understand this question we can't pick you. glasses glasses i just is not a question i just want to let you know that i know your favorite one for i know it's wacko and I'm already starting a podcast with Paul Krugman and Michael Barbaro. It's going to be 470 episodes, and it's an expose about your love of wacko. You <laughs> monster. You sicken me. It's Yakko. That's the good one. Or Dot. The lady. Yes, I know it should be Dot the lady, but it is, in fact, wacko. Everything you've said about me is true. And isn't it true that... Uh, Treating clothing as barbecue food is something the Animaniacs themselves might do. In fact, I think there was an episode about that. Oh wait, it wait. Wacky. Shocking. She's, she's not a person at all, is she? 
Oh, she has a tail. She's, uh, a, she's an whoa. animaniac. The, the fabled fourth animaniac. Yeah. Circle. Yeah. 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 The famous fourth animaniac. <laughs> we always knew it was there. Uh-huh. Just... It was their shemp. It was Yakko, Wacko, Dot, and Shemp. <laughs> and Shemp, yeah. Oh my god. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. My face is hurting for so much smiling today. I just did <laughs> Kenny and Will's podcast before this one. Not podcast, uh, it's Twitch stream right before this one on at Massive Finesse. It was really fun. It's on at 3.30 Pacific time, but uh, 6.30 Eastern time, I guess, on Tuesdays. It was fun as hell. And we, and they write a – what is it? You write a script based on audience suggestion. It's awesome. We write an episode of a TV show based on you tell us the show. It was so cool. You know what else is so cool? This. <laughs> We already played that game and it went horribly. I need to figure out how to get this thing to work. If anyone knows how to code HTML, <laughs> please, please. Challenge. Yeah. Everybody loves challenge. Challenge. A real fun game with a lot of fun stuff. We're going to have a masterful debate on a, on a subject. Uh, I got some good suggestions here from J.R. Alamode. Thank you very much. Uh, we're going to do uh, prom as the topic. I will moderate the debate. Uh, and everyone else here is going to be a master debater. So, without further ado, uh, let's hear from from Will on proms. Oh, sorry. On proms? Yeah, proms. Uh, proms suck. I didn't go to my prom, and you shouldn't go to your prom. Prom is to make money for limousine companies once a year. It is to sell young boys tuxedos that they don't fit in. And above all else, it is to make sure you feel bad if you don't get to go with the person that you want to go with. It's a myriad. Am I? Do I call on someone? No, no. no. So, <laughs> yell oh. challenge. Yes, Rob. Challenge. Uh, agree with all of those things, except for the fact that you can be that guy who shows up in a uh, seersucker suit or a cowboy tuxedo and uh, wreck everybody else's time. Okay, yeah, continue. Seersucker, frankly, breeds quite well, too. A lot of these proms are in the uh, summertime, so those tuxes, they're not built to breathe. Essentially, it's just like you're wearing a sauna. And challenge. So- uh, challenge. Yeah, yes, uh, from the gentleman uh, in the hat. Uh, no, suits, uh, suits are indeed designed to breathe. Okay, yes. Tell us more. <laughs> now, as some of you might know, the suits were created in the early Byzantine Empire, and they were uh, as, as sort of seen as a kind of armor. And with, with the inability to breathe, it would defeat the entire purpose, as you must stay cool while in the battle. Byzantine, of course, the word suit comes from the ancient Sumerian word satar. Which challenge. Really yes, Will, what's your challenge? Uh, everyone knows the word shoot comes from the French word chute, meaning to slide or to go. Good point. Continue. Well, we all know the French derivations of words are uh, the basis of most of our modern language. We all know the word spatula comes from the French spatule. Uh, to, challenge. To... Yes, nah, Patrick. Nah. It's all Dutch, baby. It's all <laughs> fucking Dutch. English Let's hear it. Is just Dutch. <laughs> spatula is van, comes from Van Lewick. It comes from the word Van Lewick, which means <laughs> a challenge. A, a, a flipping. Yes, Meg, what do you got? Van Leeuwen ice cream is disappointing. I always think it's going to be good, but it's not. Continue. Uh, it's vegan ice cream. Um, you'd think that they would do vegan ice cream well if that's the only thing. That, yes. yes no one thinks that vegan ice cream <laughs> should be good. Yes. Continue. Yes. It has no reason to be good. Why? Because the cow has been cut out. He's been taken out by this vegan middleman who thinks that he's going to throw all. Challenge. Challenge. Yes, Patrick. I- I like vegan ice cream because I like making the cow a little cuck. <laughs> I like making that cow a little. I get the oat milk and I freeze it in front of the cow and that cow feels like shit. Challenge. Yeah, I make that... Yes, well, yeah. We don't need to kink shame cows any more than they're already kink shamed. Yes, continue. Okay. I. Sure, it's weird if a cow has an udder fetish and says, "Oh, I want to stick each Challenge. part of the udder." Yes, Challenge. yes, yes. It man. is not. It is not strange for a cow to have an udder fetish. Okay, continue. 
Now, I spent some time with a cow in the early 50s in Burma, and we and her had become quite close, and I touched her others, and she said, I like that. And, and it was that moment I said, challenge, challenge. Yes, well, she didn't like that. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't say that. Continue. Our friend, the professor here, is notoriously <laughs> bad in bed with women. We have had multiple complaints from people he is engaged with. That challenge, said, challenge. Yes. I am notoriously very good in bed with women. Uh, do we have a rebuttal anywhere? Do we have a rebuttal? No, continue. Uh, how good one is in bed is a democratic process in which you will take the data <laughs> on each instance. Challenge. You... Yes, Will. <laughs> The are you good and better not electoral college has had a stranglehold on what would be a democratic process in the past several decades. We can go back to the Reagan administration and look at how votes from people who said I'm good in bed did not end up counting because they were in states and counties where they were outweighed by uh, more dense populations in other counties. It's a form of gerrymandering and it's challenge. Yes, Patrick. I don't think that professors ever nutted. <laughs> I don't think that professor, I think, I think he has it all in there still. Challenge, of course, I've nutted. I know that I know what it feels like when, when the blue, the blue lava comes out of your butthole. Challenge. 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 The, the blue lava. The blue lava. <laughs> Class dismissed. Blue lava, it's magma, my friend. It's magma. <laughs> Vegan ice cream makes the cow a little cuck. Oh, I really love <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, man. Oh, God. That was funny. Uh, the blue lava. <laughs> oh. oh, once again. Oh, man. Uncomfortable with so much laughter in my face and my body. Oh, wow. That's good. Uh, yeah. Audience, people. Get those one word suggestions in there. Uh, also, quirks. If you don't know what a quirk is, it's a thing that Look somebody in the is. Mirror. Oh, hey. Ooh. Maybe you thought you meant jerk. Uh, anyway, so we're going Ooh. to hit the button again, and more laughs will come. It's the laugh button. Maybe. Ooh. Ooh. I'm real excited for this one. It's Radio Call-In Show. Oh, I'm Whoa. super excited. I love this one. This is going to be fun as fuck. It's going to be so fun. I think I'm going to be one of the hosts of the radio show just to free up another spot for another character. Unless, yeah. uh, all right. So uh, it's, uh, let's host this with me and Meg. You want to host a radio yeah. show with me? All right. Me and Meg are going to host a radio show. These crazies are going to call in as crazy characters on our radio show. Uh, and uh, we're just going to have some fun with it. Uh, so, uh, we just need some, uh, we got, oh, we got sugar Do you ranch. want us to stop video on this? Is this, uh... Yeah. Oh, yeah, for this one, stop video, except for the host. That way it'll be more radio-like, because all we'll hear is I your see. voice. Uh, so, uh, our, our get is sugar ranch, and I guess let's get started. <clears throat> Hello, everybody. Welcome to the sugar ranch. It's when we talk about sugar ray and horses those are our two topics sugar ray and horses yeah people don't know Hi. that matt mcgrath really loves uh ranching and horses matt mcgrath famously mark mcgrath's brother yeah mark also loves ranch and horses it's look true. i'm sharice this is donald Hi, how you doing? we've got another packed episode today packed episode lots to cover matt, lots of matt mcgrath uh, mark mcgrath has a lot of love for his brother and he'll support anything he wants up to the point of buying him a ranch. And I think that's really, you know, why, why he just has such a stern fan base. I mean, that's all I want they to both say. love each other. The, the McGrath brothers are famously a loving uh, fraternal couple, if you know what I mean. Yeah. I all mean, right. Unlike some, unlike some couples I know. I don't know what you're talking about, Donald. Maybe we should just take some calls then, Sharice. Sure. Okay. Well, it looks like we've got little sippy cups from Sarasota, Florida, a.k.a. the freak capital of Florida. That's that's what he wanted to say. I don't know what that means. I guess we'll find out. 
Uh, damn, dog. Okay, I tell you what, man. Uh, number one, it's Lil Sippy Clumps. Like my favorite film franchise, The Clumps. Clump one, clump two. Number two, I have a I have a beef with McGrath. I have a beef. I'm still stuck on his Sugar Ray cruise ship. Uh, oh, sir, dude. are you saying that you're calling us from the cruise ship right now? I am stuck now. To be fair, the cruise ship is stuck in Sarasota, Florida, which is difficult to explain, but I cannot leave my room. I've been stuck in this room for now upon... 312 days. Sir, is uh, Mark or Matt McGrath on the boat with you? Because I'm sure one of them would be happy to help. Yeah, one the of brothers, them. The brothers McGrath are not here. They have been long gone. That's not like the brothers McGrath to leave someone behind. They never leave a man behind. What's the brothers going on? McGr- M- the brothers McGrath, more like the brothers Graham. More like the brothers Whoa. Graham. Did you wow. just call up the Sugar Ray... Ranch, sugar, sugar ranch. ranch, and insult the good name of Mark and Matthew McGrath. Two biblical names, may I add? <laughs> the I, only I, thing I could think of that would be more insulting is if you insulted horses. I think horses are bad as hell. I hate them with my life. Bye. Um, Bye. Oh, no! <laughs> Pamela, did you let that... We have to talk to our producer, Pamela, because that is a terrible... Terrible caller. There's no screening. There's no screening. You know, there's no screening. There's no quality control. Just like, you know, in the bedroom. I thought, I can't believe you just said that on the air. Sharice. Sorry. Sorry, let's, Donald. Let's, I just need to, I just need to say it, you know. Well, let's you just go to the next, next yeah, caller. I'll take the next like caller. What? Took my virginity 20 years ago and I haven't loved anyone else since. I can't tell if that was a good thing you said or a bad thing. I can't tell. I don't know either. Go ahead. Fine. (sighs) All right. Everdeen Monrovia from Zinch, Illinois. Hello. Yes, I'd like to report a problem with my horse. Um, Okay. Uh, Well, I took him outside because I was going to bleach his tips like Mark Mahuat there. And then... he. Well, he did a kick and he ran away, and now I got a blonde horse that's running around. I just can't get him back. Oh. Well, sounds like he'll be easy to find, at least. Yeah, you can see him from a mile away. He's all the people won't stop talking about him. Now, did you use the recommended Mark McGrath brand horse bleach? Of course, I got the proper horse bleach. I got eight cases of it, and so I put him in the yard. I shampooed him down, and then he just took off. I think it started burning his mane. Did now you? Now here's the him? real question: Did you oh, soothe Jiminy. him? With the music every morning, I was, or did, yeah, you did you play the every song morning? "Fly"? Because if you chose the song "Fly," it's pretty obvious what happened there. Oh dear, no! I was using the 2018 release "Cougar Town." Uh, mm. The later stuff, the horses don't like it. It spooks them. Oh we no! It. Well, we uh, well, I tell you what, I've got a complaint that there's a, a preschool being trampled by a blonde horse, and I've got to go do something about it. Thank you very oh, much. That's terrible. Mm. All right. All right. Oh, you know, the uh, it sounds like somebody didn't follow the instructions. You know, I know someone else who didn't follow instructions. What do Namely, you mean, when I wanted to call this show Sugar Nay, and you wanted to call it Sugar Ray Ranch or Sugar Ranch. Sure, Nay is the well, song horses make, Sharice. You know, uh, Donald, sometimes uh, you need to put your foot down as a woman in a relationship you know if you're not getting pleasure anywhere else you get the pleasure that comes from naming your radio talk show about sugar ray and horses slippy mcgibbon from candyland usa is calling to save us from our misery go ahead slippy, yeah. it's excited slippy is, are you saying your name oh. or are you addressing us i'm still saying my name in my head I, I said the McGibbon in my head. I didn't say it to you. It is not important. Well, hi, Slippy. But what? what I now understand from years of all of my spoon playing, I'm damn, I'm damn sure that that's true. He stole the someday from me. I was playing spoons in a bar in Cleveland, and I saw this 
tall haired gentleman walk through just in this wife beater. Also, so also just, just, just no definite. I don't mean he to interrupt in you. And Flippy. I was playing the spoons and it was, and then years later. Uh, it sounds like a, uh... Slippy yes. McGimmons trying to say that Mark McGrath, not to be confused with Matt McGrath, his twin brother, stole his song on the spoons and turned it into the movie to the song Someday. One of our favorites. One of the horse's favorites. One of the horse's favorites. Too. Slippy! Yeah. What did well, he leave? I, I guess he left. Agreed. Oh no, he's here. Oh, that was that was a that was a slippy of agreement. Oh, okay. Well, well, Slippy. I mean, I mean if, if you have any record of that, you could you could take it up with a lawyer and bring that to the attention of Mar Mr. McGrath's attorney. I do want to say I kind of doubt that, given the genius of Mark McGrath, he would need to steal a song from someone else. Yeah, just thinking. I mean, when I think I, about stealing, all I think about is uh, you know time stolen. I don't think about songs being stolen. You know, like years of your life getting stolen away. Yeah, I mean, I think about, uh, you know, my my youth being stolen, similarly, uh, upon a man who... Slippy you, ever had, the... Slippy, you ever had a devil woman steal years of your life? Oh, we might have lost Next Slippy. caller. All right, fine. Oh, you want to do this one, Donald? Uh, yeah, all right, we got Wacky Horror State telling from Bay Ridge, Texas. Come on in, Wacky Horror. Hi. Long time, first time. I'm very excited to talk about Mark McGuire and Norse mythology. Um, baseball has always been a passion of mine, specifically Mark McGuire. And Norse mythology is fun because it's cold. What do you think? So, uh, Donald, I do believe this caller is a bit confused. You meant to call into uh, Norse batters? Our yeah, that, companion yeah, show that, that yep, on at 8 That's PM. why I called in. I love Norse batters. So Mark McGuire, he was hitting him out the park, and I would be there with my son, and he'd just scream, and it'd, it'd be a fun day. What do you, what do you think about that? Uh, I, I wish I had a fun day. It's been a long time, Horace. It's been a real long time. What's your favorite mythology? Is it Norse? Mine's Norse. Well, oh, I got, gonna, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta go. I'm sorry, sir. sir you're gonna want to call back at eight. I'm late for a bank show. appointment. We have one final caller, John Frodo from Watertown, North Dakota. Come on in, John Frodo. Uh, there we go. Sorry about that, bud. Yeah, it's me, John Frodo, Watertown, North Dakota. And uh, you know, I just wanted to say, uh, I'm Mark McGrath's uh, ultimate nemesis. Really? I'm his, yes, uh, we both back in the day, you know, this is the, 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 the crazy 90s, as they were called. And uh, we both had uh, DJs in our bands. He had DJ Homicide, of course. Uh, I had DJ Turtle Top. Uh, and since then, I just wanted to know, like, we both were like the two bands with DJs. And he kind of got big. And the, the note I got from that, like the message I got from that was I needed more DJs. And so I just wanted to announce on this show, my band now has 17 DJs, 14 bass players, 15 guitarists, 12 singers, and 42 drummers. So we're pretty good. We're going to beat Mark McGrath at his game. He's going to, it's going to be tough for him. Our huh? music's a little stronger. How many horses Here's you got in your band? I have one horse and he plays the guitar. Here's my question for you, uh, Mr. Frodo. Do any of those 17 DJs know where the woman's clitoris is? None. None of them. Well, what, uh, what does that imply? What was that implicate? Just because, look, our DJs are good because they can't satisfy anyone but the, the, the records. I, I, I understand that. That makes sense. I guess I'll just be unsatisfied for the rest of my life. Look, no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry we can't make you shoot blue lava. I'm sorry. Well. That's not John Frodo's job. You're right. That's my husband Donald's job. Ooh. More like Donald Scamgy. 
More like Donald Gamgee. <laughs> well, that's but, our show, Donald everybody. Donald Gamgee. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> well, I guess this is uh, the end of this show and the end of our marriage. <laughs> no emotional <laughs> ending scene. That was it. Oh my god. I loved I love Kenny's. I love the McGuire. That was such a that simple was really good. funny thing. That was what really was good. The, what was the ranch pull for Norse mythology? Uh Sugar Ranch. Oh, oh he did uh Horse Horse. 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 Was Mark, it was Norse. Mark McGrath, was Mark McGuire, and Horse was Norse. And horse was Norse. Okay, that's sorry. How I got sorry. There. <laughs> yeah, I went back to the source. I went back to ranch, and I was like, what does Norse have to do with a ranch? Ranch dressing? You gotta, you gotta not listen. Uh, horse from the source, of course. Oh, uh, my God. Chris, do fun. we want to do the uh, the actor's nightmare before? Yeah, sure. Nightmare. Let's do actor's nightmare. All right. This is one person has a script, Meg. She has one half of a script, a famous script. And then the other person is an improviser uh, improvising to this script. Uh, I think we should have the guest do it. The guy who we has the new blood. New blood, you're in. Kenny Gray is going to improvise the improv half of this script. So you got it. Meg is going to read. Kenny will improvise. And we'll see what happens. All right. <clears throat> uh, what happened to all the Gatorade? I I threw it away. It went bad. You know Gatorade can go bad, right? After an exhausting game like that, I can believe it. Yeah, I, I we've just been we haven't played what basketball in four or five years. Jeez, I mean, <laughs> you know, it's the first time I reach for a Gatorade and it's all expired. You know what Sanford told me? I bet he told you. I bet he told you that he's all done selling used cars. That's horse shit. Julie Dwyer died. What? No, Who's I'm serious. That? My wife? Sanford's brother dates her cousin, and he found out this morning. Sanford's brother dates. It doesn't matter. Oh, my God. I was playing basketball. My wife dies. Uh, embolism in her brain yesterday. What well, yesterday? Why am I finding out about this now? She's got business in Phoenix, and I spent the whole goddamn day looking like a fool playing basketball. Oh my god! She she was swimming in the YMCA pool when it happened. Oh, died well, mid sense. died mid backstroke. Oh god! Well, she never knew how to swim. I don't know what she was doing. She always wanted to learn. I guess I don't know. Oh. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but wasn't she one of the illustrious 12? Oh, yeah. From Time Magazine. Yeah, she was. You've had sex with a dead person. Well, <laughs> my mom raised me to try anything once. So, yeah. Yeah. I did that. Yeah, I worked a summer job at a, at a cemetery. And I, yeah. Yep. No, you're not. I'm not. I'm not what? It's today. It's today? What's today? Paulson's funeral parlor. The next show is at four. Oh my God. My wife's funerals today? What am I? What? Oh my God. I don't even, I'm, I guess we'll go in this an Adidas shirt and a couple of sweatpants. One night only. She's buried in the morning. Oh, okay. Well, I'd like to, I'd like to see my wife's funeral. I guess if that's, I guess that'd be great. Yeah. Wait. Wait, wait. Has it occurred to you that I might be bereaved as well? What does bereaved mean? True. But do you know how many people are going to be there? All of our old classmates, to say the least. Well, that makes sense. We met in college. Me and my wife met in college. It makes sense. Why does everyone know about my wife's death except me? I'm not missing what's probably going to be the social event of the season. Why is it a social event? Come on. I, I mean, is there going to be, I, well, I guess if I, it'll be nice to see people. I'm just having trouble processing this news, but I guess it'll be nice to see people. Yeah, but I love gatherings. Isn't it ironic? I don't see the irony. 
but if, <laughs> I've also, I'm not good with definitions, as I've already said. If you go, I go. Yeah, I'm going. Of course I'm going. I, if you want to tag along, it'd be great. We could carpool in my Volvo. She meant nothing to you either until I told you she died. God, you're so fucking right. All I did was ignore her my whole life trying to get back on the court. You know, I got kicked off the fucking Celtics first season for throwing the middle finger at the ref and calling him. Yeah, I don't want to get into it. Yeah, that's true. I, I never paid attention to her. I'm going with you. Thank you. That would mean that would mean a lot. Honestly, I think it's going to be harder for everyone else because I didn't care much. All right, that's all I got. <laughs> Oh my god! I that, am sure someone knows exactly. I think I what know what it, I think I know what it is. I know Patrick did from like the first second. That's can I my guess. can I guess? Or I guess we should throw it to the audience. Does anybody know what script that is? I think I know what it is, but I'm probably wrong. I'm gonna send it to Meg. I'll send it on the private chat to Meg to see if. Uh... You are wrong, Chris. <laughs> I'm wrong. I thought it was Wedding Crashers. I am wrong. I, I honestly, I can't, uh, I don't know. I should. Oh, I'm sorry. So no, no I've, one's got I've it? Se- I've definitely seen no. this movie, whatever the, it is. You had sex with a dead girl is, uh, is the, I feel like the most famous line. Anyway, it's from Clerks. Clerks. Oh, oh. My gosh. I haven't watched that movie in so oh, long. Oh, the Gatorades. Oh my yes. God. I can't Shit. believe I missed that. I, I watched that movie many, many times as a 16 year old. I'm not a yeah. I'm not. I'm not a huge. Uh, I'm not a huge uh, Kevin Smith. I mean, he's not bad. I just. I'm not a huge. I've never watched. I've only watched Clerks once. I've watched Clerks two once. I think that's it. The Clerks US three universe. Ooh, a there's a Clerks three, right? I think there, there must be. I think there is. We have yeah. uh, one person in the audience who got it. Nice. So. Brendan, did Brendan give you the script though? Cause... No, no, I did it myself. <laughs> oh, good job. <laughs> We got to stump Brendan one of these days because he knows all the scripts. Guys, sure we we just... speaking of stumps, we've come to the – we're going to get cut off because it's the end oh. of the show. But we still have one last game to play, which is Sex With Me. Yay. Uh-oh. Everybody knows this game, and if you don't, we're going to make it up, and you're going to see it happen, and you're going to understand it almost instantly. <laughs> So, we don't have a lot of uh, one-word suggestions in the chat, so I am going to go to the one-word suggestionator and hit some random buttons and make some suggestions. So, our first suggestion is x-rays. Sex with me is like an x-ray. Sex with me is like an x-ray. I can see inside you. (laughs) Sex with me is like an x-ray because you're full of bones. Uh, sex with me is like an x-ray if you don't have proper protection you will get cancer sex with me is like an x-ray the best part of any dental exam sex with me is like an x-ray I feel led on sex with me is like an x-ray you're going to want to put protection on your whole body Hey, sex with me is like an x-ray it's like having sex with your x-ray whoa <laughs> <Hey-oh>. <laughs> Okay, uh, uh, the word is, I just had it my thing, taxes. Uh, uh, sex with me is like taxes. Talk about a once a year drain. <laughs> <laughs> sex with me is like taxes. American wars have been fought over it. Sex with me is like taxes. I do it with my accountant. Sex with me is like taxes. The Republicans just want less of it. Sex with me is like taxes. H&R cock. Whoa! (laughs) Uh, Sex with me is like taxes because uh, some would call it on income. Income taxes. I don't know how to do it. Sex with me is like taxes. I'm getting sick of all these deductions. Uh, sex with me is like taxes. Yeah, it's three figures. <laughs> All right. Twins. The word is twins. Sex with me is like twins. Fraternal. 
Sex with me is like twins. Great when it's uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger and Danny DeVito. Sex with me is like twins. We're going to sleep in the same bedroom for 18 years. <laughs> Sex with me is like twins. It's more fun if we wear matching outfits. Sex with me is like twins. We're going to share a whole lot of DNA. Oh, I like that one. Sex, Sex with me is like twins. They don't put it in the Mentos commercial anymore. They used to put it in the Mentos. Is it Mentos? Who is the gum? Double mint. Double mint. That's the one. Sex with me is like twins. There's a baseball team named after it in Kansas. <laughs> uh, sex with me is like twins. Uh, getting eaten in the womb. More like uh, eating out the womb. I don't know. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> on that note, yeah. on that note, oh, yeah. sex with me is like a library. That was a good one. A belated horn. Sex with me is like a library. You're going to get cook a carded. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sex with me is like a library there's always an old guy uh watching porn in the corner sex with me is like a library i'm stacked <laughs> sex, uh, with me, sex with me is like a library there's an old woman in the corner yelling Shh. sex uh, with me is like a library uh dewey decimal system or like do me decimal system <laughs> <laughs> sex with me is like a library yeah i can keep it down <laughs> oh i think we should take this one even though it's the weird one animaniacs <laughs> uh sex with me is like the animaniacs something i wasn't allowed to have in my childhood sex with me is like animaniacs i'm gonna yakko all over your dot <laughs> <laughs> Uh, sex with me is like Animaniacs. You're going to wake up at 7 a.m. to witness it. <laughs> uh, sex with me is like the Animaniacs. Yeah, we're fucking in a water tower. <laughs> sex with me is like the Animaniacs. I'm going to bust her bunny. Sex with me is like the Animaniacs. We're going to WB fucking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Sex with me is like the Animaniacs. Executive produced by Steven Spielberg. <laughs> Uh, sex with me is like the Animaniacs. Uh, every time after I come, there's like a little bumper with Michigan J Frog. <laughs> Hello, my baby. Sex with me is like Animaniacs. I'm going to keep y'all in a vault on the studio lot. <laughs> oh my sex God. Sex with me is like the Animaniacs. People said they liked it, but it got too expensive. <laughs> uh, well reviewed show. Sex with me is like the Animaniacs. I'm going to brain you with my pinky. <laughs> oh, man. that's really good <laughs> uh a minivan sex with me is like a minivan sex with me is like a minivan you can fit a whole soccer team in there sex with me is like a minivan yeah they make a bigger version of it <laughs> Sex with me is like a minivan. It's because it's it's like you're having sex with a little mini van. Uh, van. <laughs> I I realized that both names I picked were uh, <laughs> Vaughn and Vin. So, uh, sex with me is like a minivan. Yeah, you're you're gonna need you're gonna need gas. <laughs> sex with me is like a, a minivan. Oh wait, I miss I I I did a spoonerism. Sex with me is like a veiny man. Oh. <laughs> Uh, sex sexy. There you go first. Sex with me is like a minivan. If you push the button, the door is open automatically. Uh, sex with me is like a minivan. Yes, uh, my dick is sticky because I I spilled uh, a Dr Pepper on it like four years ago when I was twelve, and <laughs> you know that's just how it is now. Sex with me is like a minivan. You're gonna get your first one in high school, and the smell will never go away. <laughs> All right, sex with me is like a cow. A cow. <laughs> sex, sex with, with like me a is cow. beef. Sex with me is like a cow. There's only one way to get the milk out. <laughs> Sam Elliott? That's right. <laughs> yeah, I don't well, know sex really... with me is like is like a cow, babe. It's utterly unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> Sam Elliott? <laughs> Sex with me is like a cow. You're going to be over the moon. 
sucks to me is like a cow. I love to take the bull by the horns. <laughs> Sam Elliott? <laughs> Sam Elliott. <laughs> Sam, that's the famed Sam Elliott? Uh, sex with me, sex with me. It's like a cow. You got to milk me, Greg. <laughs> hey, oh. it's me, Sam Elliott. Sex is like a cow, okay? I wish I had a chocolate cum. <laughs> sex like- with me is like a cow. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's sex with, with me. me. <laughs> I said, listen to me, boy. I said, sex with me. It's like a cow, you understand? Because you are full of milk, and I will suck you. I will suck you dry. I'm sorry, Sam Elliott and Tombstone. I'm sorry. It's correct. I'm Sam Elliott from Tombstone. Thank you very much. <laughs> How far from across our state have you come to be here with us? <laughs> Halfway. <laughs> Sex with me is like uh, is like a cow, as in at some point there uh, may be a farmer's hand gloved deep inside one of us, rooting oh. around checking the organs. Sex with me is like a cow. <laughs> Welcome to my cock. <laughs> Not gonna beat that one. <laughs> oh. All right, so we're at the end of the show, which means we are going to put 60 seconds on the clock, and we are going to try and get as many sex with me's in as we can in 60 seconds on one get. We've done this a few times. We've hit some highs. I don't want to say what the high is because I don't want to mess it up in anyone's head because we've gotten pretty high. So I'm going to try and pick a real meaty word. Hopefully it's a good one. Cocktail. Cocktail is the word. All right, so when I say go, 60 seconds will be on the clock. I will count them off. Nobody else needs to count them off. Don't worry about that. I have a little handy-dandy counting thing I added on my computer. So ready. Cocktail's the word. 60 seconds, go. Sex with me is like a cocktail. You're going to get sauced. Sex with me is like a cocktail, like a chicken not stirred. Sex with me is like a cocktail. Tom Cruise has been serving it up since the 80s. Sex with me is like a cocktail. You're going to put a little stick with some olives on the end, inside. Sex with me is like a cocktail. You're going to be bitter. Sex with me is like a cocktail. Sex with me is like a cocktail. I don't serve Cosmos. Sex with me is like a cocktail. Call me Margarita. Sex with me is like a cocktail. I didn't have one until I was 23. Sex with me is like a cocktail. Sex on the beach. Sex with me is like a cocktail. You got to put a little bit of her mouth. Sex with me is like a cocktail. I require some attention on my fuzzy navel. Sex with me is like a cocktail. Why don't you suck on these grenadines nuts? Sex with me is like a cocktail. Red cocktail. A chocolate rim. Sex with me is like a cocktail. I like a little blue cheese in there sometimes. Sex with me is like a cocktail. Let's do it on the bar. Sex with me is like a cocktail. Give me whiskey dick. Sex with me is like a cocktail. Shaken. Sex with me is like a cocktail. I'm covered in ice and I'll get you weird. Uh, sex with me is like a cocktail. I want Tom Cruise to shake me. <laughs> we done? No way. No way. That record was just set. That record was just set last week. Oh my god, everything went off at the same time. Sorry. Yeah, you spit you're spamming your MIDI triggers and it's like we did it. it's breaking this. Guys, 20. Holy cow. No way. So many that I it revealed I had previous missized. Was 18. 18 was the previous and I didn't even size this thing for this many numbers. Guys, 20. 20 wow. sex with me. Incredible. I can't believe you did it. Well done everybody. It's been a great show. Holy shit. I laughed really hard today. I feel like a million bucks. Um, Everybody, uh, does anybody have anything they want to plug before the end of the show? No uh, yeah. Uh, Thursday at 8 p.m., uh, Fox Nixon. I'm going to be playing Star Fox 64 on Twitch uh, in silence while I'm listening to the Nixon Land audiobook. So if you want to learn about Richard Nixon, well, I'm playing Star Fox 64 on Thursday at 8 p.m. Pacific time. So I'm assuming that's like 11 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, Come on down. So much fun. What else we got? You can go you can go to messandfinesse.com or at Kenny Gray 3 and see all of the various stuff that me and Boston people get up to. Yeah. Anybody? Oh, uh, 
Uh, do you have uh, anything coming up with the uh, city council? No. Oh. All no, right. we don't. The next show will be in like a month. We don't have oh, a date yeah. set yet. But follow Madagunk Scott here on Twitch. That's uh, a really fun thing. M A D D A G U N K S C O T T. That's where we do our city council character show once a month, the end of the month. And if you ever want to see uh, me and Chris playing Minecraft with Will, go to his. Hop on over to Mr. Bucci. Mr. I don't Bucci. think there's any spaces. I don't remember. I'll just throw that in there. Mr. Bucci. Oh, I like you put your ad in the thing. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah. uh, and then and then uh, we got another show on Friday, right, Chris? We got another show on Friday, and then next Friday we're gonna, we're not going to be around because we're going to be doing a forty hour film project. Uh, but Ooh. yeah, another show on Friday, and on Sunday we have uh, the unlocking the cage, which will be fun. Yeah. Ooh, so much fun! Five p.m. Pacific, um, and uh, our and guest, this week is Dan the- Chapman, and we're doing face off. Yeah, we're doing Woo! face off with Dan yeah, Chapman. It's, it's going to be, be a great. really also, fun one. You can find our old episodes on YouTube or download them as a podcast if you are not a visual learner. That's great. We had Pat as our <laughs> guest last week. Yeah, we're covering leaving Las Vegas, a, a very like, kind of not what you would expect from a Nicolas Cage movie. That was a good one. <laughs> yeah, uh, and this is probably too many plugs, but also check out 2MB Studios. Uh, they have a lot of really fun things. Uh, it's on Twitch. And uh, one of the things they have is is a wrestling show called Quarantine Action Wrestling that's moving to there. And uh, this guy Rob is in it. And I'm in it. And it's a lot of fun. And we, we wrestle. Thursdays at 8. Thursdays oh, at 8. But I'll, I'll, I'll bring one more thing up. I think I'm going to – I was talking to 2MB today. I think I'm going to start doing a show with them where I stream me making music. Ooh, nice. little, so many shows. Silly. Little silly songs like the ones you heard in this. If you like the music in this, watch me do it in the room that I'm sitting in online. It's really good, the music. It's funny. We have in this one show all the creators of all of our theme songs, Meg. If something were to happen in this chat, then we would lose it <laughs> if all. If this chat were to blow, you would lose them all. <laughs> uh, and We've encourage the Coca-Cola protocol. None of you can fly on I'll the same it. plane or be in the same Twitch show ever again. Saving Private Ryan, full circle, our last thing. Uh, so uh, one last thing, vote, register to vote, get registered if you're not registered, go fucking vote, no excuses, get out there and fucking vote. Also, also if you have, check, check to see if you're still registered because you never know. Yeah, Doesn't they might have, who knows what happened. Uh, and uh, if you have any money you want to donate to anything, uh, we have a couple charities you could uh, get Mitch or die trying. They they take all this money and divide it up amongst all the close Democratic races out there. And another one that there's a link for after the end of the credits is uh, uh, Color of Change, another good charity. So, anyway, thanks a lot for watching, everybody, and have a good night. See ya.